when I get the three balls, one strike. I know Arthur Rose got to come to me now. I know he does. One of the all-time greats, a friend and a gem of a human being. First name, David. Last name, Justice. Hello, David Justice. Amen. Welcome. Amen, boy. That was beautiful, boy. Can, can you do it one more time? I, I didn't really hear no, you that no, well. Can you do it one more Are you sure? Not one more time? I okay, will do it one right, more time. I'm going to tell you. I'm, I'm, that, one that other was time. good enough, brother. You. Thank you, you man, my friend. That was beautiful. I might have been the most spoiled kid that you have ever seen in your life. I could walk in the house and throw my clothes on the ground. My mom would pick them up. I didn't have to make my bed. I know it sounds terrible. I know, I know, I know, but <laughs> guys, bear with me. All right. My mom used to give me breakfast in bed. I know it's disgusting. I know it. I know it. But I'm an only child and I had a mom that loved me to death. Okay. But the one thing about my mother, and she was big on education, guys. And I was too. Like I really loved learning and my mom didn't care one iota about sports, but she put me into the boys club because she knew I could go there. She didn't want me hanging outside on the streets, go to the boys club. I'm there all day while she's working. And then I'd come home when my mom came home. And so here I am, I'm going to Catholic school my whole life. You know, I'm raised, I'm going to church, you know, all the time. And there came a point in my life where I was with the Big Brothers uh, program in Cincinnati. And there was a particular gentleman there that took a liking to me. And, you know, none of us get anywhere. We know this. None of us get anywhere without the help of someone. And, and, and I've had many people that you will hear me give a shout out to that helped me along the way. And I like to keep their names because uh, a few of them have passed on. And I want to always honor them when I tell my story. I, I knew that I was... When I was eight years old, I knew that I had a gift in athletics. The, the person who his name was Hank Small, he, he comes to my mom and he says, Miss Justice, there's a school in Covington, Kentucky. And this, this is that crossroad, guys. This was that time. There's a school in Kentucky <laughs> called Covington Latin High School. They have scholarships for kids like David, who I'm smart but we can't afford to go to school. This is the school known for turning out the doctors, lawyers, kids. And we, I come home and my mom says, son, what do you think? Do you want to go? And I was like, you know what, mom? I do want to go. My two other friends, they want to know part of it. They, they, did, they didn't want, but it was something about that challenge of, I get to go to school in another state. I get to skip two grades. So now I'm gonna be a 12 year old in the ninth grade, which was unheard of, right? Every one of my sports coaches, every one of them was telling my mother, do not let him <laughs> skip these grades. Your son is a great athlete. My mother said, I don't give a damn about no sports. I want my baby to go to get the best education possible. That was my mother. So I go to Covington Latin. We're down three, two in the bottom of the sixth inning. And if you have never been to Yankee Stadium, you have never seen fans that can light up a stadium and roar like the Yankee fans. And all I'm thinking is, is I just don't hit into a double play, it's one out. I just gotta get that run in from third base. We'll tie the score and now we back even. We only got three more innings. We got the Yankee fans behind us. We can pull this out. I battle every pitch. I mean, the place is just, you can just hear the roar. It's, first and third we're down by one i get the three balls one strike i know arthur rose got to come to me now i know he does <laughs> i get in the box I, I check my breathing i just always say make sure i'm breathing check my breathing i got my hands supple i'm ready to throw that head arthur rose throws me a three one fastball right down the middle as soon as i hit it upper deck right field three run home run we go up by two runs. We go on to the World Series. We beat the heck out of the Mets, four to one. We win the Subway Series. We win the World Series. Now, remember I told you, the moon casting the shadow on the pond, me in a boat with a fishing rod. That's literally where my mind was mm. amongst, in the middle of all that chaos. That's how calm my mind was. And that's literally what I saw in my mind when it was three balls and one strike. 
And I tell people all the time, I don't even fish. <laughs> it was, it was, I always felt like I had the, the pulse of the team. And I always had a way of bringing everyone together. So the historical figure I'm talking about is my main man, Judas, one of the uh, apostles. <laughs> And listen, man, I'd put this. He was on one of the best teams you could probably be on. <laughs> Jesus, listen, Jesus had 12 of y'all. You were hand picked. I'd have my arm around Judas. Listen, man, I know you're going through something. Talk to me. Talk to me. Tell me what's going on. What? They offered you 30 shillings to do Jesus in? Hold on, man. We can't do that on this team. We're trying to win the championship over here, Judas. See, that's what I would have no. said to Judas. Hey, listen, brother, it was so much fun. I'm so glad I'm moving on to the next round. Uh, tell all the people that voted for me. Thank you. I love you. Appreciate you. You ready to vote for me for the next round? I'm coming with some fire next round.